Hi guys, welcome back to Cydonia. This is Season 2, Episode 5. I actually need to take another trip to the Nether, but I think I'm going to leave that till next episode because we just went last episode to the Nether, so I don't want two Nether episodes in a row. And I've been doing some off-camera work, but I don't really think it's that big a deal. Um, I've been doing mainly grinding at the grinder. And I need to I need to go ahead and get me another enchantment done because well, wait, no, that's not what I want to do. I've already got the picks that I need, and they're all named. I've also got a brand new shovel that I just didn't name, and now I'm gonna do an axe. I've been using iron ones forever and I feel it's time for me to get an axe. I also moved my enchantment table out of this main room. I'm not sure what I'm doing here yet. I raised the roof a little bit. I need to build a dome, but this is not a dome. So that's going to have to come later. I'm not very good at that sort of stuff. The enchantment table was moved down here. And I've also got some bulk storage as well, like I said I was going to do. As you can see, the skeleton's still built up. Um, I thought I had a torch there. But anyways, I've got a little enchantment set up down here, which is nice. And let's see what we get. Fortune 3? Good grief! Anyway, this is the bulk storage. I'm not sure what color I'm going to use in here yet. But as you can see, this is all, this is all, will, th that will all be bones, arrows, bows, and then armor. This will just be loot from the skeleton grinder. And right now, this is just, I've been using it to store the stone swords that I, I'm using to kill them. And I'll just store the stuff in here. I have a chest upstairs for this sort of stuff, but I don't know if I'll keep it. There's also another thing I've been working on, but I can't really show you. Because it's got to be a secret for another couple of weeks or so. So, I won't mention again. I haven't done anything with this room yet. I've decided that each of these paths is going to have a different color. So I've actually done this stone brick here. And this one over here is going to be mainly gardening. So I've chosen green. And I'm actually I'm not sure if I'm going to use lime or just regular green. I think I might use regular green. I need to see what it looks like though. But there's going to be a set of storage rooms in the green room the green path. These first two rooms will be storage rooms and then each room after that will be able to be made bigger so I'll be able to get larger farming rooms. These rooms aren't really the right size for farming but they're a perfect size for like a storage room. So each segment of my, far my area will have its own storage rooms in the front and that's where I will store things that I get from that seg section. So in here, we'll, I'll have like a, a section for like pumpkins and then melons and then carrots and potatoes and wheat and all that sort of stuff. One side might be the products, one side might be like the seeds and things like that that goes back into it. But I'm not exactly sure yet. This won't be here. This was just temporary. I should have had more than that, though. Hmm. Maybe they weren't all the way grown. But I need to get the clay and see if it's the color I want. I need to go on a clay collecting trip because this is not going to be enough. Let's see. 
You know, yeah, I think I do want that color. I'm also going to need to set up the cactus farm pretty quickly, too. So, green it is. I was thinking about doing lime, but I think green is better, I think. It, I, I'm going to go for the darker colors. And then the opposite wall, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing yet. Let's grab some of this brick. We'll start filling in some of the green over here. Um, I don't want to use my silk touch. So I'm using the brick as a separator because I don't want the colors to come out into the main room. I may use another color in the main room. I may do a quartz theme. I don't know yet. The top of this wall will be the stone brick just like the other side anyways. So we've got the stone brick up there. And then the green clay. And then torch there and torch there. Um, I'm not sure. Let me look in here first. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks good. Oops, that's not where that's supposed to go. I'm doing that like that because that's where the chests are going to go, like the other one. So we'll basically we'll have torch there, there, and there, and there, and there. And then we'll actually be digging this out one more. We'll get the stairs in. Actually, I have stairs on me, so I can get it set up the proper way. Alright. Oops, I went back one further than I was supposed to. Good thing I have that on me. Alright, let's see now. The next section, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for now. I'm just going to go behind it.
that looks pretty good. Of course, the floor is going to have to be done. Pretty much be identical to the other area as well, so. So I don't plan on actually doing the floors differently. It's just the walls. I want to have a little bit of variation. Plug that up. My inventory must be full. I don't like cobble. I don't have any more of that either. Crud. I need a little bit more. Okay, let's run. No, wait. Let's do this. Um, use the silk touch pick for a few minutes.
Alrighty, that's the two storage rooms for the farming sector. So we've got the purple, well the blue actually, and the green. I don't know what other color I'm going to choose. So we've got blue and green. I don't really care for red. So it probably won't be that color. Let's go back to using our regular pick. We don't need the silk touch anymore. Okay, that's silverfish block. Whoops. Okay, I can fill that in with cobble. It's not gonna be seen. Okay, um, Alrighty, have to get that farm out of there, but other than that, that looks really nice. Um, get these torches up. I guess I missed them earlier. And now to get rid of this layer of stone so I can fix up this floor in here, make it look the same.
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the hallways yet. Thinking along the lines of maybe some lighting under carpet or something. That might look pretty good. Alrighty. I like the way that looks. Oh, let's see, where's my food? Now we just have to figure out how I'm going to set up the farms. I think I'm going to have to go back to my grid so that I can make sure I'm not going to overlap. Because that's what I had to do. I had to have the placement of this exact so that when I made these 9x9 nine nine rooms, I wouldn't actually overlap them in, in the corners. Because I would have, if I hadn't, have, I would have pushed them closer to this edge and then they would have, like, these, they would have opened up into each other and that wouldn't have been right. So I had to be very, very careful. I need to start cooking up some of my iron and gold. I did a lot of mining. I actually finished the perimeter around my grid mine. I haven't actually completed everything, but pretty close to getting where I want to be with it. I can actually start the branch mining now. I'm going to need to do some more um, wood gathering as well, I believe, because I'm using a lot of chests for these rooms. In fact, that was only enough for not even a whole wall of chests. Let's see, what do I have the most of? Bir um, not birch, um, spruce. I mainly got this from going through the covered woods and clearing a path that I could ride horses through. Let's see, I'm also going to need to get my cows going so that I can get the leather I need. Maybe I could buy some from Crete. She's running a steak farm. I'll have to see about that tomorrow. If I could just get like maybe a stack, that would be pretty good. 
because I need to make the item frames to go above each of these rows. Alright, that's one room done. Let's go do these rooms over here, although I'm pretty sure I don't have enough. I think I'll do this side first. I don't want to have to move the nether wart farm quite yet. Oh crud, I don't belong up there. Yep, I'm out. Looks good though. I like the way that looks. Although I, I still need to get settled with um chests because I'm gonna run through all my wood. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take this. <coughs> That's not gonna be enough. Well, I guess it's going to be enough for one room at least. I guess that's better than none. Alrighty. So I could actually start filling this room up with things that I've harvested. So we could have like wheat, carrots, or wheat and reeds probably. And then maybe carrots and potatoes. Um, pumpkins and melons. Eggs. We might do, we might do one as like meat, and we'll have like chicken, pork, and then beef. Or, well, I don't know. I may not have beef. But I'm, I'll have beef and I'll have chicken. I know that, but I may not have pork actually. I'm gonna have um, maybe one row for wool. I think we'll do. We might do gardening related over here. We might do like wool and other stuff over here. I don't know yet. We'll see how it turns out. It really doesn't matter all that much, I guess. But let's see. I need to figure out something else to do this episode. Something interesting. So, perhaps we'll go clay hunting. Hi guys, I'm back for a minute. I decided before I go out to dig clay, I needed to actually fix Faithful. As you can see, it was down to about a third of its health, or whatever you call it. And because I named it, I can actually fix it for really cheap. Sometimes when it costs three diamonds, I'll just make another pick and see if it's cheaper that way. But... I have plenty of XP, so I'm not really worried about it, and it's below 30. So I'm just going to do it, and I have my pick that I can use to dig up the clay. I'll probably leave the Silk Touch pick behind, just in case. I don't want to die out there and lose it. I don't want to lose any of them, but I don't want to push my luck. Let's go ahead and clear that out. See bones, arrows, I need to keep some on me. Bows. There's my bow. I named that too. I want to upgrade it a little bit more though. And we got some armor. See more? No. Well, if any more come up, they can just stay there. Let's see, let me get prepared, and then I'll actually meet you over there. So, I'll see you in a little bit. 
Well, I'm back. I didn't record me actually digging up the clay. As you can see, my inventory is now full. I decided that I didn't need to record me digging clay. That would be boring. So, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode. We'll find out when I get back home, I guess. So, I will see you in a bit. Well, we're back home. And I'm going to go put the clay away. And I still don't know what I'm going to do. Although, it may be getting a bit late anyways. I may have actually done enough for this episode. So we did that, and I went and I collected clay. Of course, you didn't see me collect all the clay, but there it all is. It's a lot of clay. Come in handy. I think I'll save that to make, like, bricks or clay pots. But I think that's going to be it for this episode, so um, I hope you enjoyed it, and remember to like it if you like it, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye!